Hello, this is Erido speaking, and I would like to talk to you today about the Lost World Combat System. Now, um, 2013 is actually going to mark the 30th anniversary of this series, and I figure it's about time that I talk to you about this and try to raise more awareness about this game as a whole. Now then, this game actually was started back in 1983 by Alfred Leonardi. I think I'm pronouncing that last name right. Anyway, this was sort of a spin-off of a game called... Aces of Aces, which was a flight combat game that used the same mechanics, but Lost Worlds really took it to another level by actually introducing fantasy combat with uh, actual warriors here, which you can see I have a samurai here, a licensed Tunnels and Trolls books, Paraxis the Female Gargoyle, and a Cold Drake, uh, sort of an ice dragon. And, yeah, this game actually won some awards. It actually won an Origins Award for Best Fantasy Game, and there was also uh, Pyramid Magazine actually labeled it one of the best games of the millennium back in 1999. So, yeah. Anyway, this game is diceless. Now, then, some of you may be a little reluctant to play a diceless game, but it is actually pretty fun, and I will get more into how the game plays a little later. Now, then, back in 1994, Five is when Hobby Japan actually licensed the Lost Worlds game and actually made their own series, which was, of course, the Queen's Blade series. And I'm sure a lot of you have probably heard of Queen's Blade, but probably are not aware that this is actually how Queen's Blade got its start, as a series of combat books that go with the Lost World series. Now then, in 2007... They did some more licensed books called the Queen's Gate series, which I have here. I have Dizzy from Guilty Gear, um, Noel Verillion from Blaze Blue, Lily from Tekken 6 here, uh, Kasumi from Dead or Alive, uh, Pura from Soul Calibur 5, and there's uh, plenty of others. Some of them are video game characters, some of them are anime characters, maybe some you probably haven't heard of, but yeah. And then, of course, in 2008, started the Queen's Blade Rebellion series, which took place two years after the story of Queen's Blade, and had a bunch of new characters. And there was one character that was modified, but I'll get more into that a little later. There's also the Queen's Blade Grimoire series, which was just started this year in 2012, uh, November 25th. And all the characters are going to be based on storybook characters. The first two are already out now. I do not have the Grimoire books on me right now. Um, still waiting for some imports to come in. And, yeah. Now then, there's also something else about the, the uh, Lost World series. Is that there's also cards available. These cards actually give modifications and stuff, but... I'll be getting more into the cards later when we actually go into how the game actually works. Now, then, there are other uh, books in the series, too. Some of these are not officially licensed. Whereas, you can, yeah, as you can see here, I have a series of Battletech books based on the Battletech series. Most of these are out of print, and they are not compatible with the Lost World series, mostly due to the fact that they don't really play the same way. There's three different ranges. You have to keep track of your ammunition, heat sinks, and all that kind of stuff. I mean, if you're familiar with Battletech, you should know the deal of how these mechs work and it basically just makes a diceless version of the system you don't, don't need miniatures or anything unless you're into that yeah I also have a series of Knights of the Dinner Table books here which are actually licensed from the publisher and as you can see I have the entire Untouchable Trio here Knuckles, uh, Thorina, a Ravenger, and Teflon Billy you can get these books um, through their current publish, they're still being published, and it's actually pretty fun to actually use characters you know. Speaking of, uh, West End Games also licensed some Star Wars books. I have the Lightsabers Duels here, which has uh, Darth Vader and Luke. I actually found these to be pretty much compatible with all the Lost World books, although you kind of need to nerf them a little, because these guys have about 30 hit points apiece, and most Lost World characters have about between 7 and 15 and anything higher than that are usually either have to be nerfed for tournament play or just outright banned from tournaments. And yeah, since these are unlicensed, that doesn't really matter anyway. Now then, I also have here um, Warhammer Warriors. This also uses the same system, but 
it basically plays a lot differently. The matrixes are diff done differently. And I'll get more into how it's different a little later. There was also a series called Battle Books. Now what Battle Books was were officially licensed comic book characters like Spider-Man, Hulk, um, Witchblade, Vampirella, quite a few actually. And they are extremely hard to find, obviously because these are actually recognizable comic book characters. There were also some variants out there too where it was just the blue ink version. Um, yeah. I do not have any of the battle books here to show you, but it is something I would like to bring up. Now then, I also would like to bring up the Axis and Allies series, but again, I do not have any of the books in that series. Well, anyway, let's take a look at the book themselves. As you can see, there's two different things that come with each book, a character sheet and the book itself. As you can see, each book has fairly decent illustrations. And you can also see that there's a combat grid in the bottom. I'll get more into that when we actually go into how this game plays in the next video. But as you can see, each book has a lot of good artwork. The rules are all explained in the cover. And every book also comes with one of these. There's also some books that will come with the cards, but not all of them do and not all of them actually use the cards. And again, I will explain it in the next video. Anyway, that's the end of part one. Uh, part two, we'll actually get into more of how the game plays and come back and we'll talk about that, talk about that later.